What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We gotta go over Dogecoin here today because as you can see, we are trying to break past that 18 cent resistance, but we just got rejected again at that resistance. So I'm going to explain exactly what this means for Dogecoin. Anyways, hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the vital algo link in the description. and Use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off. Now, Let's go over Dogecoin. As you can see here, we are coming off of an overbought area here with Dogecoin. It was such a small rise inside price action, but it was still considered overbought because of how much money we've already lost in Dogecoin. Now, you can see that here on the oscillator where there's just the OB in front of all of this buying pressure and then the selling pressure. We did have a little bit of overselling coming off of this 18 cent support. So I do want to mention, or resistance, not support, resistance. Anyway, I do want to mention a few things here with Dogecoin. So the first thing I want to mention, the 24 hour market control is in control by the bears by 100%. So they're pretty much saying Dogecoin is 100% bearish right now. So mind you, when I tell you all of this, I'm not saying that Dogecoin is going to go down forever. It's never going up. No, short term, it's 100% bearish. So right now, what I want to talk about here is our supply and demands. So the green area shows our supply and demands, shows more demand for Dogecoin. So over here at 16 cents, we have more demand for Dogecoin, meaning that when we hit this 16 cent area, we're probably going to have a little bit of an uptrend here trying to break back above that resistance but that resistance is going to get broken by the bears that you see here by 100 percent which will then eventually lead us down to this area right here this is our other supply and demand showing way more support and way more demand for dogecoin at 14 cents and 13 cents so that's what we're going to see next we're going to see a 14 cent 13 cent dogecoin coming very soon now after we get to those levels then after that after 14 cents and 13 cents Eight cents is going to be that next level that we reach. So get ready, prepare, because if Bitcoin keeps taking dumps, if Bitcoin keeps going down, we are going to see the same thing happen to Doge. Now you can see Dogecoin down 4.3% in the last 24 hours. Dogecoin down 16% in the last seven, seven days, 27% in the last 14 days, and 35% in the last 30 days. Now going over here and looking at Bitcoin, you see Bitcoin is trying to recover here, but you know it's still going down. Everything else is still going down. So Right now, we're following Bitcoin, and what I do want to mention about Bitcoin here is people are predicting a $30,000 Bitcoin. Now, if Bitcoin reaches $30,000, expect Dogecoin to reach $0.08, cents, possibly 5 or even possibly $0.01. Cents. Yes, I said $0.01. Cents. So that's what we could possibly see here inside of Dogecoin if we continue to go down. Five cents, one cent. If we go down to like 30K Bitcoin, 25K Bitcoin, it's going to be five cent, one cent, baby. Five cent, one cent Doge. And that's definitely going to be, that's definitely going to be nice. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I want to see Dogecoin go down. I want to see this happen. This is going to be so good for us all. Like, I'm going to buy that dip. I'm going to put a thousand dollars in it, get a hundred thousand Dogecoin. And then a dollar, I'm going to have a hundred K. So that's my plans. I really want to see Dogecoin hit one cent. I know a lot of people don't want to see it, but me personally, I want to see it because I definitely believe in Dogecoin in the long term. But anyways, let's do some math here. If Dogecoin reaches one cent, it'll be at pretty much a $1.3 billion market cap. $1.3 billion market cap. Now, Dogecoin to hit five cents would... I don't even I don't even know. Like, I just want to say right now what we see with all these whales. All right, let's go over here and look at the whales, right? So... Looking at the whales, the whales literally have billions, 5.2 billions. So Dogecoin literally cannot reach one cent. Like I really want it to reach one cent really bad, but fundamentally and technically and financially, Dogecoin cannot reach one cent. It's just not possible. There's too much money in it. There's too much people inside of Dogecoin holding Dogecoin together. So one cent Dogecoin may not happen, but a 15 cent Dogecoin will definitely happen. A 10 cent Dogecoin could quite possibly happen in eight cent quite possibly if we continue to go down inside bitcoin but anyways let's do some technical analysis so we did this yesterday dogecoin falls 36 percent rallies as those looks for massive for reversal to 39 cents so we had this whole thing going on failure to hold 18 cents could spell disaster and we're failing to hold 18 cents this has been huge and heavy resistance for us so this is going to be a disaster pretty much it does not want to get past 18 cents so we're going to see some more losses inside of dogecoin so that's key resistance that we're getting rejected at so mind you we are getting rejected heavily there so over here you can see dogecoin has traded you know 
below the weekly 10 consent for a long time, five consecutive weeks. And then during that time, it has tested the primary support level at 18 cents several times. We've tested 18 cents several times, and now we're testing it again. So if you look back here with Dogecoin, way back here, we've tested this area lots of times, like way, 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 way back here. But we are still set to have some kind of rises, some kind of gains in Dogecoin long term. But right now, it's not happening right now. Right now, we are slowly but surely trending down to that area here where is our supply and demand. So anyways, let's keep going over this. Now, let's look at the bearish movement that we could possibly have. Downside risk, however, maybe the large, long red rectangle on the chart represents the thinnest part of 2021 volume part. And over here, if Dogecoin has a daily or weekly candlestick close below 17 cents, a flash crash to the next high node level of 8 cents is very likely. So if we can't call, close like below, or if we can't close above 17 cents and 18 cents, we're going to hit 8 cents. So pretty much this is almost all almost completely written in stone that we could have definitely hit eight cents now if you do math here you take and you multiply all of our coins which is 132.3 billion and then you go ahead and multiply that by eight cents you get our predicted market cap so we are predicted to get to a 10.5 billion dollar market cap if those coin goes down to eight cents that's still a good buying opportunity because if you think about it and you put a thousand dollars into dogecoin right at eight cents that's twelve thousand five hundred those coins there and if you do the math continually then you will get twelve thousand dollars once it hits one dollar now if you take this on to the next step in the next level let's just say you took ten thousand dollars well then you would take and divide that by the eight cents and you would get one hundred twenty five thousand dollars or one hundred twenty five thousand dollars coin and then that one dollar one hundred twenty five thousand dollars so we have a lot of different potential things that can happen here inside dogecoin but the more probable one that we're seeing right now is 15 cents 14 cents and then if we continue to break down in Bitcoin, then we will continue to break down to $0.08 cents in Dogecoin. So we are projected to go down on a short-term downtrend here. This isn't long-term. This is going to be short-term. Now, whether it's going to be a week, two weeks, a month, we are going to definitely take some losses in the crypto market, not just Dogecoin. So definitely get prepared. Have some money set aside to buy the dip. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. This is just what I'm doing personally to hedge my position as they like to call it in the stock market. So anyways, this is all I got for you all today. But I do want to go over some whales because we do have some whales that are buying the dip and, you know, really profiting off of this. That's why I say if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the Vital Algo link in the description for these automated trading indicators. And use a discount code Marcellus for 25% off. Because what these Dogecoin whales are doing, they are probably using indicators. I don't know if they're using Vital Algo, but I know they're using some kind of trading indicators to make this money inside of Dogecoin. So this Dogecoin well came in earlier today, 65.4 million. They still got 64.4. They're just buying the dip. This one will probably end up staying here for a little longer since they are down $1 million. But then we have this Dogecoin well came in at 65 million, now down at 63.1 million. They came in earlier today as well. So some Dogecoin wells do some day trading, like this one came in 34.6 million to 34.1 million. They really should have used the indicators, and maybe they would have actually got money instead of losing about 500k. But, um, yeah, that's why trading indicators exist. So, anyways, this one came in earlier today as well 19.8 million. So, we're seeing lots of Dogecoin wells buying the dip here with Dogecoin. So this is definitely something that's going to continue to happen. They're definitely going to keep buying the dip and making sure that they get more and more Dogecoin at the smallest possible price. Anyways, this is all I got for you all today. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Definitely hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the Vital Algo link in the description. And use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off. And as always, I'll be back with another video. Peace.